It's the first big snowstorm of the season in our region, and starting now, you can only expect things to ramp up. Yeah, the heavy, wet snow is falling, and your morning commute will be a tough one. We have Ike, Christina, and Gary all outside providing team coverage of the storm for you. And Gary's in our WCAX Orchard with the latest on the storm. Good morning, Gary. Yeah, I'm on here in the Channel 3 Orchard right now just to make sure it's still snowing. And yeah, it's still snowing. And the snow is starting to go sideways, and that's because the winds are going to be picking up. You can hear the snow plows going behind me, and they've been busy all night long, and they're going to continue to be busy. Roads are slick out there right now, and we're still looking at some heavy bands of snow to come on through here over the next couple of hours. I'm going to go over what you can expect in the Max Advantage forecast. Those winter storm warnings and advisories still in effect fact until one o'clock this afternoon. The snow going to be piling up and then we have to deal with the wind chill. I'll be back in just a few minutes with all the details. Take a look. VTrans is reporting conditions this morning. Most of them look fair. You can see the tiny orange dots are the plows out and about clearing the roads. And they're trying to keep up with all the snow that's coming down. All right, Ben David it continues our team coverage this morning. He is live for you in Virgins. Good morning, Ike. Good morning, Alexandra and Avery. I'm here in Virgins, and to be honest with you, there's three things I'm facing right now. It's cold, the snow is not stopping, and there's also a wind, but the snow is not stopping the plow trucks out there. On my uh, way down here, coming down Route 7 from Burlington, not only sm a smaller company plow truck, but VTrans, they're out there making sure the roads are safe and for the conditions. Now, Dave Blackmore with VTrans says conditions like this, you got to expect the unexpected. You can be careful, you got to be careful around plow trucks because, and you got to drive slow. They're wide, they do make U turns on the interstate, and Blackmore says you, oh, you got to expect the unexpected around the plow trucks. You know, it's Vermont. Uh, I know Vermonters are, are well in tune with the surroundings, and our folks here at VTrans are well in tune to what we're expected to do, and we're going to be out there doing our best. Now, before you head out, VTran says, put it together a little emergency kit. That includes things like a uh, snow scraper, a shovel, jumper cables, flashlight, water, and extra warm clothing. I'll be here live in Virgins all throughout the morning show, giving you updates. I've been talking to drivers, what they've been saying, and of course, getting a, a live look at the conditions right here in Addison County. Now, reporting live in Virgins, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News. And it took members of the morning team extra time to get our cars ready to drive and to just get into work. Today. Yeah, exactly. I had to wake up a little bit earlier this morning. Channel 3's Christina Gasford continues our team coverage of this storm with how to make sure your car is prepared to hit the roads. Like you guys were saying, you do have to give a little bit of extra time when you do get out this morning. I did not, and unfortunately, um, it took me about 10 minutes to really clear off my car. So this car right here, this is our WCAX car. It's been pretty much out and about all day, but it's already accumulating a lot of snow just from sitting here, and you can also see that on my head. But one of the biggest things that you need to be doing this morning is just making sure you clear off your car. So just making sure, again, this needs to be uh, visible by for police. And then make sure that you have a nice big area that you can see through. It is illegal in New Hampshire to have any kind of snow accumulation. So if you stop for even a minute, you're going to need to continue to keep on clearing that off. And if you uh, take a look at this road right here, we were actually watching this earlier. Lots of cars having some trouble getting up just this teeny tiny hill in Burlington. We're right off of Church Street. And then this car right over here, you can see it is also the owner just swept it off and it is already accumulating some more snow, especially on the windshield. So we did talk to AAA who said they are going to be out and about this morning. Um, they anticipate there are going to be slip and slides, but there are a couple of things that you can do, and they say caution and traction. They're going to be key today. Your car only touches the ground in four spots, and it's about the size of the palm of your hand on an adult um, as to where that car is actually connected to the ground. So that space needs to have uh, enough traction to be able to stop the car or slow it down in that snow or, or icy condition. So you can see they're checking their tire pressure and they're also checking, uh, checking the tread of the tire. So most of you might have your snow tires already, but if you don't, you can still be safe. It just is a matter of taking that, allotting some extra time to double check, make sure it is the right depth, but it's not, if it's not, 
to be aware that you're probably going to be sliding a little bit. Even we have these snow tires on and we were sliding around a little bit. So we're going to still be out and about this morning, letting you know, uh, keeping you updated on those road conditions. But for now, live in Burlington, Christina Gasford, Channel 3 this morning.